Stop. <laughs> I, I don't like doing it in front of people. It bothers me. Sup, Stop friend. friend. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right, sup, friends. It's Harrison here, and today we're going to be starting my top surgery vlog. So I have been waiting for a long time for this weekend or this week that's about the is about to happen. And Max listening to me talk and I feel weird. It's fine, whatever. I'm getting top surgery by Dr. Garamoni in um, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So I just landed today. Uh, but yeah, so I am starting my top surgery vlog. So I'm gonna be vlogging the whole experience. Uh, I know a ton of guys do it, but I want to do one too, just to look back on, and hopefully I can help anybody out that needs any help with anything. I don't know. But yeah, so we've just been here for the day. I got an Airbnb. But yeah, so my buddy Mac is coming with me, or came with me. We're already here. So we're here in Fort Lauderdale, so she's staying with me, and we're just going to stay. We're going to stay for about nine days. Uh, so I got, have surgery in two days. So tomorrow I have my pre-op appointment. So I will keep you posted on how that all goes. But yeah, so we're settling in. Uh, we're get, picking up all our stuff. And yeah, so it's been a good first day. But yeah, so stay tuned for more. Bye. <laughs> no? You're not getting up. Okay. All right. Sup, Sup friends. Man. Actually, I don't need to do that. I've already had my intro. Okay, well, welcome to day two of my vlog. I will probably be filming more stuff. Shut up! I'll be probably filming more stuff than just talking about it. Or Mac, my buddy that's here to uh, take care of me, will be filming more kind of day-to-day -day stuff. But there really wasn't much. Like, I could have brought you to, like, a few meals I did or, like, my shopping. But I thought I would keep this just kind of, like, dialogue for right now. It's the night before surgery. So I have surgery tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. with Dr. Garamoni. I had my pre-op appointment today. I can't bring any cameras or anything in there, uh, or else I would have, but yeah, I had my pre-op with Dr. Garamoni, so I met him for the first time. It was kind of like meeting a celebrity. I just like seen, I follow him on Instagram, and I've seen like a lot of people post their own videos of their reveals with him in it. So it was kind of odd to meet him, but uh, he was really nice, really a really great guy. I don't know why so many people say he has a bad bedside manner. He doesn't at all. He's really nice and really personable, but so I didn't get that impression at all. He noticed um, I had my uh, my notebook, and it's the My You Can Play notebook, and he noticed this right away and was like, oh, they do all the hockey games. So he started talking to me about hockey. I told him that I was a hockey player, so... That was something we kind of like bonded over, I guess, and everyone in the office was is a really big hockey fan, so if you like hockey, bring it up. They will enjoy that. But yeah, it was really straightforward. Like he took a look at my chest, had me like take off my shirt and stuff and like look at it, take some pictures. But overall, like it was really it was really I knew most of the information because I've watched so many YouTube videos on guys' experience and uh, read kind of the stuff that they talked about, so I kind of had a good gauge on what to expect but yeah it was it was fine I feel I felt even better like I felt really I feel really good about my choice like I felt really good about my choice to go with Garamoni coming in I felt very confident in his abilities but going to the pre-op and then stepping out of that office I felt even more at ease like I, I still haven't felt nervous at all which is like really surprising for me like I'm always saying that I'm nervous that I'm not nervous. So I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good going into the night before my surgery. It just, it's crazy that it's here. I've been dreaming of this moment for as long as I can remember. I've been watching so many people's journeys and being jealous of everybody that can go topless or everybody that's had surgery already. So it's my time finally. And it's kind of un it's kind of unbelievable. It's kind of, it's, yeah, it's surreal. It feels very surreal right now. So yeah, I'm getting picked up tomorrow and then brought to the surgery center and then my surgery's at 2.30. And then yeah, I won't have any more pecs. Well, I hope I have pecs, but I won't have any more extra baggage on my chest. Any so it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. I'm thinking, I don't know. The recovery is going to be a journey, but I just have in the back of my mind, that it's like, okay, like one month of discomfort and then the rest of my life to feel at peace with my body. So it just really puts things into perspective, but I feel good. I feel prepared. 
I've done all my homework, I've done all my research, so there's really nothing else for me to do other than just kind of leave it in the hands of Dr. Garamoni. So here's hoping for a good surgery. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you updated on how it all goes. All right, bye-bye. Hi, so I'm getting surgery tomorrow and it's also going to be Mac's birthday. <laughs> We're going to share this day for the rest of our lives. <laughs> well, who are you? Explain yourself. How do you know me? Uh, Hi. <laughs> I hate this. Hi, I'm Kelly, also known as Mac. Uh, Brownie and I went to university together, and then we played in Buffalo together. And we've been bros and dads ever since. This is really close. No, it's not. Um, hi, how do you feel about me going to surgery tomorrow? Excited. Why? Because. Because why? Life aligning. Life aligning. <laughs> oh, yeah, what is it? Okay, to explain that. Um, well, originally I was, I was going to say that this surgery would be life-changing or life-altering. But the more I thought about it... <laughs> Um, the more I realized that it was more so life aligning because you're becoming or your body is finally catching up to you. That <laughs> is mind blowing. Is that mind blowing? I don't know. Mind I really aligning. It's mind aligning. No, it's, that like got me. That got me good when she said that. Are you excited to take care of me? <laughs> Not at all. You're going to be a little weenie. I'm kidding. <laughs> what are you most afraid of? Mm. It's too, it's I'm too, in... oh, no, okay, there, <laughs> there, you're just, like, you're just excited? Yeah, I'm not really afraid. Okay. Yeah, so, um, I'm all showered, I'm all clean, um, I, my, car should be coming in about half an hour to take me to the hospital my surgery it's it's about 11 now it's actually 11 11 make a wish but yeah so it's 11 11 and i think it's gonna come in 39 minutes so just kind of chilling hanging out getting pumped i still haven't felt nervous it's amazing i'm just kind of sitting here like i don't have any clothes on because i'm just kind of taking in like my body right now like this is the last time i'm ever gonna see my body like this and that's wild. That's so crazy to me. Like, I just took my last shower, and that was the last time I was going to shower with my body looking like this. As much as I don't like the way that it looks in some parts, like, it's, this has been my body for the past 25 years, and it's crazy to think that it's going to change soon. I'm so excited to have it change, but this has been my home for a long time, and gonna be an adjustment but a great adjustment but it's just kind of weird like I'm just sitting here like looking at myself and this is the last time I'm putting on my pet holder whoa wow okay good all right thank you Mac for setting up my camera for me. But I am like three hours, I'd like to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm like, I'd like to say I'm three hours post-op and I can't believe how well I'm doing. Like, I, I'm not trying to like brag or anything or be like, oh, I'm so strong, I'm healed. I just expected it to be a lot worse. Maybe, maybe because I have a lot of pain meds, but I don't feel groggy, I didn't have any nausea. I just took a pain med like a half an hour ago. I took a Percocet. Was it an Oxy? I don't know. I think it's an Oxy. I took an Oxy like three, like 30 minutes ago. I feel fine. I don't feel, I don't feel groggy at all. Yeah, I'm just kind of utterly shocked at how, not easy, but like I just feel like, I feel like I prepared myself for the worst, which was, which was good. Like, cause I expected it to be a lot worse in my mind. Uh, the pain, it was, it was, tough when I woke up like it was like a it was like a burning kind of sensation and there's like a lot of pressure with the 
with the wrap. This is what it looks like with the drains. There's an ace bandage all around me. Um, but I have a lot of, I have a decent amount of mobility. I'm still like keeping everything really tight and I'm not doing anything. I'm not trying to push myself at all, but everything's relatively comfortable. I feel okay. Like obviously it's not ideal to have this pressure and this bandage, but it's not that bad. It's not that tight, which is great. I expected it to be like, I, I expected it to just be so excruciatingly tight, but it was, it's fine. And I can't believe that it happened. I'll kind of take you back on the whole day. I wasn't really that nervous, except one of the things that they asked me, like, do you have a will? And that kind of freaked me out a bit. I was like, I, I don't know if I have a will. Like, what am I going to die right now? Like, it just kind of scared me a little bit. Yeah, I won't make this too, like, I'll make a better one of like what really happened. But I think this one, I just want to keep it kind of not as detailed. Um, but yeah, so really they just took me back and the worst part was the IV. That was the worst part of the whole day. Uh, I got it in my left hand. Um, my vein moved when she put it in, so she had to re-put it in, uh, but it was quite painful. I was uh, holding on to Mac's hand and my hand was turning white because I was gripping it so hard and it's it's not fun like people are like oh it's just a pinch like it wasn't just a pinch for me like I'm, I might have been a big baby about it but it really hurt and I didn't like it at all that was it that was the worst part and then they wheeled me back and I wasn't nervous getting wheeled back like I just expected myself to be so scared and I wasn't I had one moment where I felt a little bit nervous was when they brought me back and I was by myself with the nurse and I didn't realize that I was like going to get undressed right there and start it so that kind of made me a little bit nervous but other than that I was fine they wheeled me back they put the sedative in and it it it, it reacted right away so that was nice to not have to deal with it but they brought me into the OR I, I was so nervous to see the lights and to look up and to be on the gurney but I wasn't I was just kind of at peace with the whole situation so they went really well. Like I remember them putting the mask on me. They didn't even ask me to count to 10 or anything. I was already out. And then the next thing I knew, I woke up in the recovery room. So I remember waking up and I started crying because it was it, not because I was in pain, but because I was so happy that I had it done. And I, I was, I think I was, I, I can't really remember it that well, but I, I think I was, I was audibly sobbing. It was like, I, I was loud when I was when I was crying, and uh, I had to, I was yelling out. I'm not sure who was around me, but I just wanted people to not think I was in pain. And I was like, I'm not crying because I'm in pain. I'm crying because I'm so happy. I remember saying that. So that was really cool to have that kind of emotion. But yeah, I woke up by myself, and then I had them. I I alerted them that I was awake, and then they brought my friend back, and then I came home. But yeah, mobility's fine. I'm a little hunched over, I'm a little sore, but it's nothing unmanageable. I thought I would be in a lot more discomfort, no nausea, no nothing, so. Yeah, overall it was really good. My throat's a little sore because I had the breathing tube, but, so I'm gonna probably cut this video soon. Um, but yeah, overall it was a really great experience and I can't believe, I can't believe that it's done. And I can't believe that I'm so coherent three hours after. I think that that's like insane, but I'm very pleased and I'm so happy that everything went well. So anyways, uh, stay tuned for more progress on how everything's going. I'm just, I'm just waiting for myself to feel more pain. I'm just waiting for me to hit that wall of like, oh, this is sucks. But right now I feel good. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs> okay. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks, Mac. Um, my first morning after surgery not that fun I slept okay like I could sleep for hours at a time which was good um but I did wake up at like 3 30 and was in a decent amount of pain then I my pain meds I have to take with food so I had to eat a bowl of cereal and then take my pain meds and it, it, it made me feel a little bit better um but I woke up like every like two hours, which which was fine. I could kind of go on my phone or I could just quickly fall back to sleep. Um, but a lot, not a lot, but more pain today. Um, I'm feeling really tight, really sore on my right side. I think obviously I'm right handed. So I think that that's contributing to it. 
So I'm trying to use my left hand a little bit more to kind of even it out. It's bleeding more on the drains, but nothing too concerning. I think everything's going fine. I accidentally dropped my phone on my chest yesterday, so that sucked, but other than that, I'm feeling a little bit nauseous, like a little teeny bit nauseous, so I'm drinking some ginger ale at 9 a.m., which is weird, but it's making me feel a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it's not fun, but obviously I know it's gonna be worth it, but yeah, day two, waking up, was not great. I think I had a lot more pain meds in my system from when I came back from the hospital and then they're kind of just wearing off, but yeah, just enjoying it. The, the bandages are still t quite tight, but not as tight as I thought they would be. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to update you on day, day two. Okay. Turn it, turn it off. Turn it. Let's turn it off. Uh, oh. Alright. Hello. Welcome back to another day of Top Surgery Diaries. I don't fucking know what to call it. So today is July 5th. It's about, tw it's about noon. So I had my surgery on the 3rd and I had it about 4. So I'm not, I I'm not even 48 hours post-op. But I wanted to do this every day to talk about how I'm feeling. So I just took an oxy. So I'm feeling a little bit fuzzy right now, but I haven't showered in 48 hours, so I feel really greasy. Uh, it's painful. This morning I woke up and I was in a considerable amount of discomfort. I'm feeling like a little bit of burning now, like where the incisions are a bit. I don't know if it's actually the incisions, but I'm just feeling like discomfort in that area. I feel like the bandages are getting tighter. I just gotta make sure I keep taking my deep breaths, but I feel like it's closing in. Um, it sucks, like it really sucks. So the second night I uh, went to bed at around 11, woke up at like 1, 1 1.30, took, took another pain med, and then I slept until about 7.45, and then took another pain med and then I wanted to go back to bed after that, but it took me a long time to get back to sleep. It just felt really, really, really uncomfortable. It is what it is. I think I was getting a little bit discouraged because I was thinking I'm not even halfway out of these bandages. I haven't even been in these bandages for two full days and I'm already sick of them. So I'm doing everything that I can. I'm limiting my movement. I'm wearing my compression socks. I'm taking on all my pain meds. I don't know how people are like, oh yeah, I stopped after the first day. Hell no, I'm not stopping. I don't even know, uh, I'm not stopping. I don't regret getting top surgery. Obviously I wish I didn't have to go through this pain, but it's gonna be worth it. I know it's gonna be worth it. So I just have to like kind of keep that in mind. I found myself getting pretty negative this morning. So I just have to kind of take a step back and realize that I've been waiting forever to get this done. And I'm so excited. I cried when I woke up from my surgery because I was so happy. And I just have to keep in mind that this is just so temporary. This is this is less less than a week of my life to not feel a lifetime of emotional discomfort. So a week of physical discomfort, I won't have to feel emotional discomfort for the rest of my life, and that's unreal. But as much as that's such a promising thought, it's really hard to get through this week. So I'm on day two. I'm sure it'll start to get better, but I'm still. I just feel really shitty. Uh, and I wanted to let you all know that. Um, but yeah, okay. I'm done. Thanks. Welcome to day three of hell. <laughs> so it's the it's Friday the 6th. I had surgery on the 3rd. So it's been about three days, almost three days since surgery. And um, yesterday was not the best sleep I've had. I woke up and I felt like really short of breath and I felt like my um, bandages were tightening, which Mac said that that's not possible and gave me a real slap in the bum. Yep, had to give me some real love there, some tough love. And yeah, but it felt like my, my breath was getting shorter and uh, my back started really hurting in my sleep. Like my rib cage at the back started hurting. 
I took a pain med and then I went to sleep. I think it's really bad in the mornings and then like mid-afternoon after my little nappy, I feel a lot better. So I think a more realistic approach of the day would probably be to start videos now instead of my morning videos, which are pretty morbid. But it's not fun. I'm about, I'm at the halfway point, I think. So I have today, I have the rest of the today, I have Saturday, I have Sunday, and then I get them off Monday at 2.30 p.m., which will be amazing. I can't wait. It's just like, it's a lot. It's starting to get like a little itchy now, and um, there's some parts that are like a little bit burny, and it's just like kind of hard to not see what's going on. You have to trust that everything's doing okay. So it's just a little bit, a little bit unnerving, but I feel good. My drains are draining well. I'm starting to smell a lot. I haven't done anything. Uh, like I haven't put any dry shampoo or put any deodorant on or anything. So just been kind of festering in my own filth, but it is what it is. But yeah, so that's my update. I started taking half of my oxys instead of a full dose, trying to wean myself off them a little bit, but feeling a little bit better, feeling a little bit more comfortable today. Uh, but it still sucks, and I just can't wait to get this off of me. Um, okay. I'm done. Bye. Okay, so it is currently 12.30pm on Sunday. I get my drawers. Well, I get my drains out tomorrow. So, um, I don't know why I always do this video right after I've taken a pain. I'm a little loopy today. I feel like a little different like yesterday was fine like all the days kind of leading up like every day gets a little bit more comfortable of course um, today I feel like the most comfortable which is probably because it's the furthest away from the surgery date but I had my like I had the best night's sleep last night I went to bed at like 11 woke up at like 8 30 so that was like a full night's sleep so that was great and then I slept like another four hours after that I started noticing that my back really hurts like my my ribs and my, and my in my back hurt and then the muscles in my arms like on my shoulders are starting to hurt I think it's just everything's so tight and I've been so restricted and I haven't been able to move so like everything's just kind of like mad at me and it's just like the countdown is getting like really old like I've been in this for many many days and I still have more I still have about 24 hours left with this bandage on and it's it sucks like this week it sucks like it's not fun sometimes are weaker than others sometimes you just want to cry because you because it's like so annoying it's so uncomfortable not being able to do things like i can't i can barely laugh like laughing hurts so much and like getting up out of bed like it just kind of sucks but i'm getting excited to kind of see what my chest looks like so that's cool and it's getting closer to that time so like you know i've been saying like i'm uncomfortable like it sucks but there is really no pain like there there there's like sometimes like at the bottom of like the bandages where it's like really tight on the ribs like sometimes your rib hurts but there's no real like chest pain like there's it's just sometimes there's like a moment of extreme discomfort but it goes away really quickly the, the pain meds do like a really good job of keeping everything pain-free I guess if that makes sense but yeah so like if you're worried about like a lot of pain it's not it's a different kind of like pain it's just a pain in the ass and it's just uncomfortable so that's kind of nice to know that there's really no searing pain if if everything goes according to plan luckily I've had a lot of I've had I haven't had very eventful recovery so that's been really nice but yeah so on the average recovery it's not very painful. So I get this off tomorrow. Can't fucking wait. So stay tuned for that because Mac will be recording all that. Oh yeah, I'm done. Nice. Bye. Hi. I'm about to go get my drains out. Bye. It's gonna be my first time out of the apartment since I got top surgery. So I'm looking forward to getting some fresh air. Ew.
results. The nips. Designer nips. <laughs> that's, what, that's what the trans men call these designer nips. Ooh. Yeah. Hi. Get out of here. <laughs> Am I in your shot? No. All right. Hello, people. This is the last video that I'm going to take here. So I just had my post-op appointment. I'm officially six days post-op. I had surgery last Tuesday and it's Monday night. So almost a week post-op, almost a week not showering. Ugh. So um, post-op uh, went well. I have it all filmed. So I think I'm going to put it in, in a separate video. I'm going to put a little bit in this vlog thing, but I'll put the whole thing if you want to watch the whole thing. I'll put that in another thing, in another video. I had a slight, very, 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 very slight complication. I had um, just a access of blood, swelling and bruising. So we had to, we had to, so Dr. Garamoni had to like literally push out the old blood. Ugh, it was so gross. And it was like the consistency of like jelly. I don't know. I had to put the compression bandage right back on, which kind of sucked, but. Oh well, just a few more, a couple more weeks of discomfort and then I'll be smooth sailing. So I just got to kind of keep the bigger picture in mind. But the whole process was, was good. It was good. Like, um, it, it's, um, it's a mission to kind of get through six days of being just bound so tight and six days of drains. Like, it's not fun. Like, it, I, it's it absolutely sucks but totally worth it like being able to just look down at my chest like I'm so smelly I'm so gross I feel so uncomfortable but like the second I looked down the second I was able to look in the mirror and see a flat chest like it was the smile on my face was just unreal it was it, it's it's a weird feeling it doesn't feel like my chest yet because I didn't get to take a really good look at it and there's swelling and there's bruising so it doesn't feel like mine right now like when I looked down it was very foreign and it was it was a little bit scary to kind of see just kind of it mangled and everything because like I've never had a stitch I've never had a surgery before um I've only broken a finger and that's the worst that I've had and so this was just a new experience for me but it was fine like it, there wasn't a lot of pain it's just discomfort that you just have to kind of power through the, the six days are gonna suck it's gonna suck and I'm not looking forward to the two weeks of having to ace bandage myself even more, but it is what it is. And I know like just from getting like that glimpse of my freedom for like that second, I know that it's going to be worth it like for the rest of my life. So overall, Dr. Garamoni was amazing. Like, I don't know why people say he's a bad bedside manner. He doesn't at all. He's a really nice guy. I, I felt very welcome in their, in their office. It was so professional. Everybody there was really nice. Um, overall, it was a great experience, and I totally recommend uh, him. Like, I, I, he's the best. He, that's why everybody goes to him. I could have had it done for free in Canada, but I chose to spend the money and come here to Florida for my surgery. Like, that, I think that says a lot about how good the results are and how good he is. So, if you have any questions about top surgery or anything, like, feel free to put them in the comments. Um, I'll keep you all posted on my recovery and update you on like my monthly journey on my recovery and everything like that. But overall, just yeah, as always, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow any of my social medias, they're down below. And I will see you next time. Take care.